Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam. Nice to meet you. Um, today I filmed this St. Patrick's Day makeup tutorial so you won't get pinched. And if you want to see how I created this look, just keep watching. Okay, so I'm starting this off in kind of weird steps, but it's what worked for me the other day, so that's what I'm going to do again. I'm using my KO Cosmetics High Fashion Palette and using the shade Kelly with my Anastasia A24 brush. So I'm just taking that and going right under my eye. I think I've decided that this is the only brush that works for my under eye area, except for like really smaller ones. All the other ones just like end up making me look like a raccoon. But this one works really well. And it picks up color. So I'm basically doing this like from the edge almost to the inner corner but not quite. So next I'm going in with this deck of Scarlet palette using the shade Mermaid. And I'm going to use that same brush, and we're going right on top of that Kelly shade. This is like a really dark, um, metallic-y, like, dark green teal color, and it's really pretty. And it looks really good over this green eyeshadow, I think. Okay, so next I'm taking this Hard Candy Liquid Liner in the shade Mirror Mirror. I'm just going to do like right in the inner corner and connect it to, I don't know how to explain it. It'll be like a triangle kind of thing. You'll just have to see. Like that. So it's like if you were to do like a cat eye in your inner corner, basically. So you start off kind of thicker in the um, inner corner and when it gets into the green shade you're going to like make it thinner so that it kind of blends into it sort of. Next I'm going in with the Modern Renaissance palette and taking the shade Warm Taupe and using my A25 brush from Anastasia. I'm going straight into the crease but staying like towards the outer end and I'm basically like I'm taking this um, brush and going right into the like the hollow in there. I don't know what you would call that. My eye socket, I guess. And just getting right in there and working it through and then lightly blending it out. Now I'm taking the shade Cypress Umber with my A14 brush and we're going right in the outer V area so like you touch your crease bone and sort of work it up in there and then come down with it like the V shape. And we're going to work on, it'll be darker out here and just like slowly make it lighter towards the center of my lid, I guess. And we kind of want the edge to stay in the V shape. We're going to blend it out a little bit, but we want that shape with it. A25 brush and just blending that out a little bit. Next I'm using Pure Cosmetics. I think this is called eyeglass like nail 
or no, eye polish. I don't know, it was something like nail polish, but for eyes. And this is in the shade um, Silk. And I'm going to start in my inner corner and kind of cut into where the crease is and go about halfway. I'm taking this um, Cream Shop brush. I think this is their Bamboo Concealer brush. And I'm just going to go over the top and pat it so that it it kind of it makes it like set and go over the center area so that we can blend it into the brown shades. I'm going over that inner crease area just to try and make it a little less um, like a straight line, I guess. Just sort of blending it out a tiny bit. back in with that A14 brush and Cypress Umber just to go back over that and make sure like it's a nice gradient between the two colors. So just do what we did before, go back into the outer V to make it the darkest area and lightly go over the edge of that shiny foiled shadow we just put on. This will kind of just like bring it all together. One last time we're going to use that A25 brush to once again blend out the edges. Next I'm going to use Lucky Clover from my Moonchild Glow Kit and this tiny number 3 brush. I think this is for lips but it really works good because it's so tiny that you can just get right to your brow bone. Highlight, we're going to take that A25 brush again, just to go over the highlight so there's not a harsh line there. Next, I'm taking my high precision liquid liner from Art Deco and I'm going to wing it out. take my Renault London Scandal Eyes Volume Flash Waterproof Mascara and do my top and bottom lashes. I'm going to use my Pure Cosmetic Lashes in the style Flirt. While those are drying, I'm just going to tight line using my Renault London Waterproof Coal Liner in black. I'm also going to use my glossier boy brow. So I'm going to wait for my eyelashes to fully dry and stick to my eyes before I go over them with some liner. So right now I'm going to use Marshmallow from Colourpop. I always say that color pop, not plop. Now I'm taking Black Label's liquid lipstick in the shade Bitter Pill. This color is so cool. It's like a purple mauve-ish color. Now the last thing is I'm going to take that Mirror Mirror liquid liner from Hard Candy and I'm going to go back over it. I'm going to take that number three brush and the Lucky Clover highlight and go right over the top. You can't tell much of a difference. It definitely makes it brighter, but you can't like see the like the green highlight to it. Like, I wish you could, but it's okay. It still makes it really pretty. Alright you guys, so this is the completed look. I had a lot of fun filming this. I feel like this look is really cool looking, but it's pretty easy, I, I think personally. So I hope you learned something new, and if you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and subscribe. And I've heard people saying, click the little bell by the subscribe button, so do that if you want to. That would be awesome. 
and I'll see you next time. Bye.